Maths week seven. This week's about ordering fractions and multiplying fractions. In this video, we're going to focus on multiplying fractions. First, check you have found and read these downloadable lesson notes found in week seven. We're going to go past ordering fractions, so past these two pages, and on to multiplying fractions. And we're going to work through the, the first example in your lesson notes. And it says, solve 8 twentieths times by 4 fifths in its simplest form. Let's look at how we do that sum. So here's the same question. 8 twentieths times by 4 fifths. Now to multiply fractions, we times the numerators by each other and then times the denominators by each other, which will give you a fraction as your answer. Our next step then will be to put it into its simplest form. So first let's find the answer. In this, uh, in this sum it will be 8 times 4 is 32 and 20 times 5. I know that 2 times 5 is 10, so 20 times 5 must be 100. That's my denominator. So there's my answer. Now I have to put it into its simplest form. So to do that, I have to find an equivalent fraction and I need to find a number that I can divide both the numerator and denominator by. So a number that will go into both 32 and 100. Because they're both even numbers, I can divide these by two. So 32 divided by 2 is 16, so that's, half, that's been halved. And 100 divided by 2, or halved, is 50. So that is a simpler fraction, but it's not yet in its simplest form, because both of these can also be divided by 2. 16 divided by 2 is 8. And 50 divided by 2 is 25. I can't find a number that will go into both 8 and 25, so that is as far as I can go, that is the answer in its simplest form.